I'm going to bring you another Canadian made story, but this one is a very interesting twist. And I think you guys want to, I want to pay attention to this one. Two people enter the Rocky Mountains near Banff National Park. It's a, it's a very big place here in Alberta, Canada. Uh, Banff is a very big tourist area, but the national park is very big. It links up with uh, Jasper National Park. It's this big part of the Rocky Mountains that, that, encapsulate a lot of the beauty of where I live. Now, back in 2019, there was a history show called Alone. And there was a couple YouTubers that ended up on this show. And they also did behind the scenes for the show. Tongs are all dirty. Well, this is Zachary Fowler and his friend there is Greg Ovitz. Both of them have landed into hot water over what's in the pan. Carve them clean. <laughs> well, one's American and one is Canadian, and this takes place in the Rocky Mountains near Banff National Park, actually within the park where there is certain restrictions on fishing. So, $6,000 fine for fishing. Alberta judge fines BC man $6,000 for catching trout in National Park. This was announced on April 20th, 2023. An Alberta judge fined a BC man $6,000 Wednesday for illegally catching eight cutthroat trout in Banff National Park as part of a YouTube survival challenge nearly four years ago. Outdoor survivalist Greg Ovens of Carnal Flats, BC, and Zachary Fowler, an American citizen, filmed part of a 30-day challenge in the Rocky Mountains on a YouTube series in the National Park in July 2019. They both have their own channels, Ovens Rocky Mountain uh, Bushcraft, and the other one is Fowler's Makers and Mischief. They, they both honestly the shows are are very well done they they have some amazing stuff in them so if you guys are looking for a survival challenge that you want to watch if you don't want to watch me and desolator try and survive in green hell and watch guys actually survive these are the guys to go watch but they're being fined six thousand dollars over this 30-day survival challenge that they did Right, so this is season two. It was season, I don't know which season it was. Uh, unfortunately, I can't see the date there because of the way things are with YouTube. But they've been fined and uh, they having to pay it. These guys have like hundreds of thousands of subs. I'm sure they can probably afford it. Uh, hopefully they don't worry too much about it. Parks Canada wardens laid several charges in February 2022 against both men who met while they were contestants on the History Channel TV show alone. Warrants are outstanding for Fowler, but Ovens agreed to plead guilty to a single charge of illegally fishing under the National Parks Act. Justice Eric Toppelman uh, of the Alberta Courts of Justice disagreed with the Crown's position that the accused was attempting to financially benefit from his actions. This is part of it. They were actually part of a 30-day challenge. They were doing this as a challenge and had to live off the land. And part of living off the land is catching trout and cooking them. He gave credit to Owens for an early guilty plea and attempting to have the videos removed, but said in a serious manner. Uh, a total of eight of the protected species of fish were taken from the lake. It's aggravating that natural bait was used. This type of bait is prohibited as it risks introduction to lakes of invasive species, including the microscopic parasite that causes whirling disease, the, the judge said Wednesday. So they caught the bait, put it in there that was actually part of the park. It's not like they're bringing in bait. They, these guys are doing a survival challenge. They're living off the land. They're catching the bait off the land and then putting it in there. But because some reason the, the, the natural organisms putting it into the lake is now causing whirling disease. The, this, this is something that's absolutely crazy. The crown had proposed $8,000 fine or $1,000 per fish. But uh, Topanin, 
decided instead to require Ovens to post details of his plea and sentence to his YouTube channel where the videos are located and sent a letter to YouTube's parent company, Google. Topanin uh, has given Owens or Ovens six months to pay his fine, but wants notice of his posting his sentence on YouTube and a note to Google LLC sent to the Crown for approval within two weeks. Well, I gotta say, when I'm down and out and having something to binge watch, these two channels are probably two channels I'm going to check out a hell of a lot more after hearing about this story. Um, $6,000, you know, in the grand scheme of things, uh, O Ovens here has 678,000 subscribers and Fowler here has 1.39 million. So these guys are doing very well from themselves for the YouTube sake of things. They don't need me making this video, but this was a Canadian story that I came across and went, that's kind of strange. That's really odd. It's very strange in itself that you can't live off the land in a national park. So there's probably lessons here learned that you just don't want to do these challenges in a national park. But I don't know what the other side of the law is. If you're actually, because you're surviving, you're not actually taking the trout out. You're not actually pulling the fish out and doing something with them at home. It's very interesting in that sense. And I don't know because it's a, uh, ovens here that actually got charged these guys actually know how to live off the land they're living off the land much better than a lot of people in the world nowadays it's very cool to see this type of content too like to see actual canadian native greg ovens uh has been studying outdoor survival and bushcraft since the age of 12 he has spent the last 30 years living among canadian rocky mountains in the columbia valley of british columbia where he enjoys testing his hunting fishing hiking and bushcrafting skills being a drywaller by trade combined with his passion for outdoors it's no surprise he also prides himself in being able to build a shelter at about just about anything and zachary here a bushcrafter outdoorsman a youtube creator zachary fowler uh, is a vermont who moved to coastal maine to become a wooden boat builder although building classic wooden boats is a passion and skill zach's real love has always been the outdoors this would be expressive by his young by his years providing for his family occupying an off-grid yurt style home and living a self-sufficient lifestyle both of these guys were on a loan they it's pretty amazing to see where the history channel went to where these guys have ended up today uh and you you can see in their video quality they do have editors they have professional people helping them um so this type of stuff they're gonna they're, they're gonna be fine they're just gonna be fine but this was a neat story a neat canadian side story to go over and that's why i covered it here today i hope you guys like this one i am your proud canadian phoenix cinder shadow don't forget to like and subscribe and i will try and keep bringing more canadian made stories to you guys very soon